Welcome to NFI online video tutorials on Siemens PLC S7200. Now in this series of video we are going to solve these exercises which are provided for Siemens, right? So let's see what is the first exercise, section 1 series and parallel circuits. Device a circuit when I0.0 is on, Q0.0 should be on. So it's a very simple question in which we have one input, using that we need to turn on another output. Okay, so using one input which is I0.0, we have to actuate an output. And we are going to use this environment as factory hour in which we have two uh, input push buttons. One is normally open, that is the green one, and this is normally closed, and two indicators. So we are going to use this platform to simulate the exercise, right? So the first question says using this button, we have to actuate this one indicator, that's it. So what all you have to do is you take a normally open bit normally open this is a symbol of normally open you take this bit and give the address of first input of PLC that is I0.0 .0, and you have to press enter so this is the address of first input and this input is tagged to my this button this is done by some configuration we have done the configuration in which my start button is I0.0 .0 here and stop is 0 0.1 and these are the two light indicators. So this is a DAC card we are using here. So you don't have to focus this much. We are here just to understand how to program, how to program the Siemens PLC. All right. Now this is my input link to this button. Now we need an output. So for the output, you will take an output energize bit. This one. You just drag it from here to here. You'll have this symbol. Now you have to give the address of this indicator, which is Q0.0. So I'll type Q0.0 .0 and press enter. So that's my coding for the question which says device a circuit when I0.0 .0 is on, Q0.0 .0 should be on. That's it. Now you have to download and see the results. So when you press download, this is the button to download from, from your PC to PLC, from PC to PLC. And then you have to click download and it will put the PLC in stop mode because while transferring the program, PLC should not be running. Then it, again it will ask me to run the PLC, so I'll click OK. So now the PLC is running. To monitor the state, I can click this button, program, program status. This will start monitoring what's happening in the PLC. So currently this is off because button is not pressed. This is off, the indicator is not running. So when I click this button here, the logic is solved and the indicator is on. If I release the button, this is, you know, this is a push button. So when I release the mouse click, it will you can see the simulation here. This is pressed and that's released. So when I press this, the I0.0 .0 gets on and it turns on the output which turns on the indicator. So this is a simple logic when you want to just use a button to actuate the output. So this was the first exercise. If you have any doubt, you can post me a comment. Otherwise, this is a very simple one. Let's see what we have in the next video. Thank you.